Good day. Good day. Good view audience. This is Howard Martell, known as the Home Profit Coach. I've got one of my great, great mentors and also a fellow business partner. His name is Marvin Drobes from New Jersey. He's going to be my special guest here. So without further ado, Marvin, take it away. Thanks, Howard. I really appreciate the kind words this morning. And uh, let me uh, fill your audience in a little bit about myself. Uh, it'll be really short. Basically, I'm the founder and owner of Earning Coach Marketing. We're a digital marketing agency dedicated to empowering local businesses with effective online strategies. Uh, before venturing into the world of digital marketing, I had a diverse career path, beginning as a special education teacher. I later pursued my passion for photography and ran a successful studio when adding a camera store uh, as well to our uh, front end and the studio was in the back we did weddings we did portraits we did any occasions basically uh, and we built that up to a seven-man uh, staff uh, very proud of that um, and then my journey led me to the financial and insurance sectors and eventually to the audio industry where I excelled in sales and was promoted to the position of the internet sales manager. With a wealth of experience across various industries, I always try to bring a unique perspective and my wealth of knowledge to my clients. My clients in the past have ranged from restaurants to chiropractors, and we help them with website design and implementation we do search engine optimization. We work on the Google business profile and we include uh, social media marketing as well as email and SMS marketing services. Great, Marvin, that, that's a great introduction and stuff. So tell me in the digital marketing realm, you know, what are some of the biggest challenges that clients like myself or anybody that you've worked with, what are some of the biggest needs in the current uh, marketplace right now? Great question. You know, a lot of the people that we, we talk to uh, today, my business is mainly referral business, uh, though we still do Facebook ads and Google business uh, or Google ads. Um, and, and the number one question that people usually share with us is why do I have to have a presence on the internet or the web? And the answer is today, it's not like driving your car down the main road and seeing, you know, a brick and mortar store and realizing, oh, look at that, a party store. It's Halloween. Let me go in, look at the costumes. Today, more and more people turn to the internet to find the businesses they want to deal with. And if you don't have a presence on the internet, then it's like you don't really exist. That's what our world has come to. Because today you can search on, on your computer at home, your laptop, your, your you know, uh, tablet, and more now than ever before, and I'm old enough to remember this, you know, phones went from the brick phone and, and, and stuff to these little, I had a Nokia that was about that big, that wide, you know, and it was like, you know, real small fit right in my breast pocket. And we're back to having these screens that are 6.9 inches across. <clears throat> Soon we'll be carrying around, you know, a little uh, uh, tablet, you know, to, to talk to everybody. So the phone has become the way, the mobile, you know, is another way that people reach. So they may be driving down the street, but they're not paying attention anymore to the brick and mortar stores. They may pull over for a McDonald's or a Wendy's or, you know, any anywhere to stop. And what do they do? They get on the phone and go, look, while I'm out, costumes, you know, near me, Halloween, you know, and they locate the stores and then the process begins because obviously you're not going to be the only, you know, visual visible uh, business and they're going to start looking at things like star ratings reviews they're going to look at how close they are to you so they have to drive or not so all these things 
become important for a local business. So the question is, what can we do? It starts with your website design and implementation. If you don't have one, you have to get one. If you already have one, you have to then maximize it using things like SEO, which we always tell people, Google Business Profile is the least expensive and fastest way to get listed. And the best chance is now that their algorithm change to be found if you're in a local area. And then once you do that, it's building a list of clients, communicating with them. What's the best way to do that? Social media channels, <clears throat> excuse me, knowing where your clients hang out, whether it's Facebook, which today the 40, 45 and over crowd, TikTok and um, Instagram, you know, 20 to 40 year olds, uh, LinkedIn, which is a professional website. And, and really, you really got to participate in all of those initially to find out where your people are. Once you find out where they are, you can really strengthen your presence by doing more posting on that one area uh, to, to reach those people, okay? And <clears throat> social media, for a long time, <clears throat> a lot of people think, oh, no problem, we set up a you know Facebook page and we post and we post, and they don't see results. The question is, today, it's different. It's more about branding your business than it is getting response. Though all the social media platforms always care about three things, like comments and shares. The more you have of those, the more you're seen across the platform, okay? And that's what our business does. We work on getting the engagement from the, the, the visitors to your social media platform. Um, then once you have a list, next step, how do you communicate with them? Well, one of the ways, as I say, is social media. Another way is email. And the problem with social media, going back for a minute, is it's a social platform. It is not a sales platform. And many businesses get that wrong. If you look at a lot of businesses, you'll see today's, like restaurants, today's special. And then comes Saturday and Sunday. Today, over the weekend, you know, save 20%. And people don't want to be hammered that way. And they, they're looking for other things. For example, we recommend, do you have a specialty recipe that we can share for people to make at home? You know, and initially the, the you know, drawback, it, well, if I give away my restaurant, you know, run best recipe, why do they have to come here? Because it takes you hours of preparation and they don't want to prep for hours. Okay. And most of the time they find out it's almost as expensive or sometimes more expensive to make it at home than to go out and eat. Okay. Besides the ambience of being out and, and stuff like that. So yeah, once you have a list, we communicate through email. We let them know what's going on. Maybe we added a new recipe to the menu. Maybe we have a special for the Halloween. We talk about, you know, uh, pumpkin Sprite uh, lattes, you know, um, and not selling it. We kind of do it in a hidden fashion when we do it. Okay. And then there's the time <clears throat> where you want to promote your business. So you go ahead and you do a promotion. And we, we use a rule of thumb. Out of every five posts on social media, we promote. The rest of the stuff is for engaging content. Um, with email, it's to let them know what's going on. It's, you know, we just hired a new guy. Uh, you know, I got a new pizza maker. Come in and say hello to Howard Martell, the king of the pizzas in Virginia Beach. You know, um, and tell him, you know, you wanted to say hi. You saw him on social media or in an email, okay? Uh, SMS messaging, really important today because today email in most cases, email is opened within a two-day period. People don't open it as often as they used to, whereas SMS, text messaging, people get a message, they'll open it usually in under four minutes, okay? And again, it's used for promotions, but it also will be used to let them know what's happening in your business. For example, when we had... Um, uh, 
not last year, I think it was two years ago in New Jersey, we had a bad storm, came through three of my restaurants in one area, got affected when the electricity went down and they lost their phone service and everything else. But by posting it on social media, people who normally would go there saw, we're sorry, we inconvenience you, but due to this storm, we're currently without electricity and phone, you know, come back and check our status uh, or we'll send you another email if we're doing email or SMS messaging and let them know when we're back on and ready to do business. So that's really what it's come down to today. People need to know a step-by-step progression into how to best maximize their business online. So that's a great point, Marvin. So what's the importance of social media like YouTube? Should you have your own YouTube channel? And should you consistently be um, promoting or should you be more of informing your audience, whoever your niche market is and stuff? I believe there's a combination here, Howard. And as I said before, social media is social. YouTube really started out as a social platform okay today like you got to remember it's google's little sister okay so when you look at youtube you can find anything you want on youtube as to how to that's the difference between i think using youtube per se versus google it's it's big brother You want to find something, a how-to, and you want to visually see it, you're going to go to YouTube, okay? Should a company have a presence on YouTube? It really depends. I believe, like with Instagram and Pinterest, it's you have a presence if you have visual. A restaurant who does, you know, a a catering job uh, or or a birthday party in-house. You know, they come there. They're in a room and they, and they allow you to, you know, put it up there. Great way to show what you can do using, you know, the internet, okay? You take a brick and mortar store, like a hardware store, do they need, and I use the word need, a YouTube channel? Not necessarily. However, let me say this. If they do how to use a uh, a power saw or how to use a in today's a saw with uh, um, what do you call it um, uh, you know to cut down branches uh, what do they call it? a chainsaw and they want to do a video demonstration it will aid them in getting people to realize they can get these things at their you know store Again, I preface this. It's great to make the videos. It makes you feel good. What not good is if you don't get eyes on the video. So here we go. How to market those becomes a chore that most businesses can't handle. And they get frustrated, like with Facebook. Most businesses in the last, and we've been doing this since 2008, we did. We joined Facebook back, I believe it was 2011. And like everybody, we posted every day. And then about three, four weeks later, we posted three times a week. And then about three more, four weeks later, we posted twice a week. And then by the end of the third month, we weren't posting at all. Okay? That's where a service like point. ours comes in because we'll go ahead and we'll continually push the button to keep those posts in there so people can come back time after time after time to get more information to be entertained to be social and then to promote our business so marvin i'd like you to show us some examples since we've got some time could you show us some some examples of how on earning marketing coach or, or or wherever the same services I utilize to be able to automate and get that engagement. Can you show? Can you can you show us well, examples me, of what you're jump, talking about? Let me jump. Yeah, that, let me jump over, and uh, we've just rebuilt our website, and I, I want to share that with everybody. And for those who want to find me, you can go over to https 
semicolon forward slash forward slash earning coach and uh, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen and um, let me um, get over here and while share. Marvin's doing this audience I've been working with Marvin I've known Marvin since the 90s we started off with a small ten dollar business together I've been on his radio show he he's been kind of like my uh my third dad basically because he's you know I've got my regular biological father and then I had my military fathers that I've had over the years but you know I'm out of the military now but this gentleman here has really blessed me because of the fact that he's taught me certain things that I didn't know. He's allowed me to free up time by using what he's going to be demonstrating. And it's incredible how technology, how AI and all this, that could be a segment in itself, Marvin, the tools that we've got for the audience. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Howard, again, I appreciate those kind words. Yes, we know each other now going on close to 30 years. And uh, remember when you were a kid, um, Actually, I remember when I was a kid. Uh, I know. <laughs> on, on my website, what we've done, and, and again, because of the algorithm and the search to be found on, on uh, Google, you know, video is an important thing. So we put it right up front so that they see a video that we have. Um, but anyway, we have a motto. Don't just be number one. Let us make you the only one. And what that really means is, you know, today, Google's algorithm, a couple of years ago, it was Google My Business. And they gave away, they looked up almost every business in the world. And they gave away free listings on Google. So you could fill out your business information, your store hours, your holiday hours, what you offered, so forth and so on. And recently... Two years ago, in fact, October, uh, they announced that they were changing over from Google My Business to Google Business Profile. And right away, everybody thought, oh, here they go. They're changing it, but nothing's really changing. They're just changing the name to get more head steam, you know. Uh, and, and that was the furthest thing from the truth. What they did, in essence, is they took away the global search and made local search more relevant. What does that mean? That if you were on Google and you were in a local area like Howard is in Virginia Beach or I'm in Lakewood, New Jersey, I can control my destiny online because if I did the right things, I could be found on page one or two. Now, I know a lot of our listeners, I would have to say 88% of you never get past page one when you do a search. Okay? Think about it. So the power is Google didn't want the Amazons of the world. They didn't want the, the uh, you know, um, other like major businesses that controlled the business like Walmart or, or uh, I almost said Kmart, they're no longer in business, but the, you know, even the JC pennies of the world, they wanted to give the local businessman an up to be able to be found and, and do business. And why? Well, if you know, Google, it's about the money. Okay. If you weren't on page one, you're inclined to do more advertising. And that means more revenue for Google. So in my my website, that what I said is let us make it the only one. And that's because through a lot of the methods that we use, we can actually get several locations or several of the way we list your business in different positions where we have one customer who occupies five out of the 10 spots on Google's front page. So the chance of them getting clicked is far better than anybody else, okay? So, again, what we did here is we talked about, our, you know, what we can do for you. It's not about us. It's about you. And there's three different types of websites. I talk about this when I meet people for the first time. There's an ego site, which unfortunately about 80% of all websites 
on the, and, and it's all about them and what they do and how they do it. And, and of course, all of that good stuff. The other one is an information site, and that is more or less a site that spells out all the services, and that's usually included in, in an ego site, the services, and it can be done two ways. It can be done in terms of how they offer their services and what they do, or they can talk about a set of features. They talk about benefits of why you need this and do this. And then, of course, there's what I like to talk. There's a lead gen site. And our site is more or less in the middle of the road of all of these. We don't talk about us. We talk about what we offer you and what we can do for you in these categories. And this is something new here. Howard didn't bring it up yet, but we are now offer custom text chat bots and phone bots. We're actually the phone bots, very interesting as we're implementing it next month, actually could take your phone calls and talk to people in a human's voice and answer their questions. And for those of you in a business where you need to qualify them, it could do all the qualifications for you. And then you can decide whether or not you're going to pursue the business with them. Okay. So again, these are just some of the testimonials. Okay. And then how to contact us. If we go back to the here, we talk about the about page. Okay. You know, we talk about empowering your brand, not with what we, you know, what we're about. Okay. But basically, and I see the video is not up there, but this is the thing stand out, grow bold, trust the best, endure and win. Okay. And again, a couple of new testimonials here as well. Okay. And of course, everybody wants to know the services. So we made separate pages for what each one does. And uh, here you go, real short. Okay. And then you can get a quote. Okay. And it talks about why website development is so important. Okay. And it does this for all of them. And then we've just added a blog. So for people who want to know the power of SEO and how to optimize your website effectively, if you're doing it yourself on a program like Wix or anything like that, or I know, uh, what is it, GoDaddy, you, you can build a website there. This will help you understand, I hope in layman's terms, what SEO is all about and how you can use it. Okay. So again, it's informational and it's about you. It's not about us. Okay. So that's one. Now to show you how that translates, I'm going to go over and we're working right now on how it's, um, I'm going to jump over here. Uh, tell me if you can see this. Can you see this site here? Not yet. What you have to do, Marvin, is actually remove the uh, this, yeah, and and then add to the stage whatever you have. You present and then add. Okay, so let me go into where was that? That was in. Um, StreamYard is Facebook, right? Yep. Okay, so let me find StreamYard again. There we go. And we'll take the stop screen. And we'll take the present again. Share screen. And let's go over to a window. And I believe we should be in there now. Okay. I'm going to add you to the stage. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. So Howard and and his main product from the company Stoplight Go was a supplement called OCI Plus. And we brought that to market on a separate screen. I'll show it to you in a minute. And and then they've added this great new product, uh, the perfect food for the perfect body for people who want to lose weight and overall have, it's 10 products in one basically. 
and um, looking forward to getting my product in house and using it because I can shed a couple of pounds. But we're rebuilding the website, and here again, you'll see why this is this is not really a ego site. It's not about the company. It's not about you know all the things that they do. It's about two products the company offers that can help you and how. So this is the new design. This is not published yet. This soon will be published. But here's where we talk about both products, okay? And we give you information, okay? All about the product and the concerns, and you can learn more, get the most out. We have a couple of videos, for example. We Again, remember I told you the importance of video? In the heart of the Amazon rainforest, so we have the one about OCI. These lush green landscape. And in this case, we chose the one with our uh, actor and the PFPB ambassador, Kevin Sorbo. Older people, you'll recognize Kevin as the TV show Hercules. Okay, so we have his... In today's world, the battle isn't just fought with swords or shields. It's one through resilience, endurance, and the right fuel to power your journey. I'm Kevin Sorbo, and I know what it takes. Okay, so we have the videos, and then when we get into the health benefits, these are going to be changed at this point. After we have these up here, we're going to take these and move them to a different page because you'll see these uh, as the informational part, okay? And uh, once you have that, you can see um, we could take you. And right now, I believe if I do learn more, to so take you to uh, the old website. And this was where Howard was doing sampling, okay? And again, it talked about the benefits. You could subscribe to his monthly newsletter where you can get, uh, you know, information about additional products that are beneficial to your health, like the new Perfect Food for Perfect Body. And basically, this is what we did. Now, again, all this was pushing towards one thing, okay? We can learn more about the product, and then in here it took you to this page, and then it talked about the different packages that were available, okay? Uh, but again, here I went into details, another video. Okay, because a lot of people don't like to read, so forth and so on. But you can see why the importance of a website. Now, to just show you uh, real quickly, I'm going to give you an example here of a um, NJ Oil Recyclers. These folks do a um, service for restaurants and to keep America green. Uh, they recycle cooking oil. Uh, now, this is what we call a lead gen site. Okay, so right away, people who are looking for recycling of oil, what do we have? We show them that they know why they came here. We have a call to action, the call telephone number, as well as we have a form here for them to fill out to talk to us. And then we go into the information, okay, and, and we tout what we do, why choose us, and again, it's all about us, but it's a lead gen site. So what do we do here? We can go to the about us, and now we get into the details of all, all us. This is all the ego. Get out of the ego. Let's talk about cooking oil recovery. Okay. Why do you need our service? It's about you. What can you expect? It's all about you. Okay, we go about oil trap maintenance. I didn't know what this was, but I learned quickly that the oil trap is where all the used oil is siphoned off into a trap that's usually like three feet wide, five feet long, and two and a half feet deep in the floor. And it needs to be removed regularly, depending on how much oil obviously you use, uh, to get rid of it. Otherwise, it floods the floor 
and uh, that's a problem. But again, this talks about what we do, why choose us. Again, this is about us. So again, it's, you know, and then it's about them. So we've combined those two things in the one side. And, and last but not least, we've gone ahead and we've added things in the blog, of, you know, creative ways to reuse and recycle oil. Ten ways used oil can be repurposed so you know why it's important. Okay. And uh, this helps drive picture. But more important, you remember we talked about search engine optimization or SEO. Having a blog on a website has become very important because it's an opportunity for you to get more eyeballs on your website when people are looking for the things that the blog talks about. All right. Um, and if I go ahead and um, I was going to show you another site, but I, off the top of my head, I can't remember what it is right now. So we'll just go ahead and we'll come back down to uh, come back here and say that, that that's the websites and they all relate to, uh, oh, I remember what I wanted to do. If you hang on there, I'll go over here. And I want to do, um, I wanted to show you the importance of the Google business profile. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I want to go to here. And it's showing. Yeah, as you can tell, we're not scripted. We're just being real between yep. me and Marvin. We're going back and forth between our computers like mad scientists. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to find the um, the one place that I want to take you is, um, let's see. But for the audience, as I said, Marvin, his services, from my experience, and I'm not being biased because I've worked with him for a while, he has made incredible strides when it comes to automating my business. You remember, I still work a full-time job and I'm a college student. So I have to have, remember he mentioned about those sales bots? Guess what we're having on my site? Sales bots. And we, we can talk about that later on too in the, in the next segment and stuff like that. But once you show us this, we will conclude this segment. Yes. Once Marvin shows us the Google importance of Google business. Okay, so if I come back to StreamYard and I share my screen again, I'm getting used to this, Howard. Thank you for teaching me all the ins and outs. Okay. You know how I found out about it? Chat CPT. I asked, how do you how do you present or how do you how can you share a guest screen? Because we can have up to six guests here too, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so like a talk show. we're going to go into window, and I think what we want to do is right here. Tell me if you can see this. I'm adding to the stage right now, Marvin. There we go. Okay. So this is one of my restaurants, and by the way, I'll show you also uh, uh, what we've done. He, he had a little pizzeria here. Um and, and the pizzeria, when he bought it, the, the two owners were letting it run down. But here's the importance, okay? Um, here's what the Google business, when they find Alex's Cucina, they can go ahead and you can see we've got 188 reviews, another big part of Google business profile. He's ranked 4.1 when we started with him on his reputation. He was at 3.5, so we've been able to get it over four, which is relevant, okay? But here's all the information that people are looking for, right? Okay? And by doing that, they can go ahead, um, even on Facebook, we got them up to 4.2. And here's some of the reviews, okay? And then we have what people like to read. Alice's Cucina is an esteemed... Italian restaurant pizzeria in Howell, New Jersey, beckons foods enthusiasts with exquisite Italian-American delicacies. Now, this was written with SEO in mind, okay? It might not make sense to you, 
But the reason that people go here is because they see that. Now, they can go ahead and they can see there's pictures in here. Okay. There's questions to be asked. Okay. And here's, here's the most important thing. Google tracks the visitors to the profile. Okay. And how many interactions now this is, let's do just two full months. How many visitors? 823, roughly 400 people per month. Okay. And here's what's amazing. 8,500 people viewed that business profile over a, 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 over a period of, what did I say, August 24th. They actually, it tells you where they found them. Look, mobile, 55%. Off of the maps, Google Maps, 32%. So you can see what I was saying earlier about mobile being so strong. How did they search? They were looking for restaurants, 1,208. Food, general category, near me. Pizza, near me. Pizza. So this gives us information that we want. Why? Because we're going to go ahead and we need to change the website's SEO on page SEO to relate to these search times to give them even better results. Okay. Now, looking at that, we can go ahead. Whoops. And let me show you what we did. Now, remember, it was a pizzeria. See the sign, but he he had no business. Now here's text messaging example. We created this pop up so he can go ahead and he can gather a list of people. Now that list today is close to like 300 people. And when business is slow, we could send them a text message with some kind of special. Okay, but here this was a regular pizzeria. But look what we did with the website. Testimonials. Okay. And then, of course, the links. We can go over, look at the regular menu. Okay. The pricing. We made it into a fancy restaurant, basically. Getting hungry yet? Okay. Yes, Marvin, I am. That looks that chicken looks good. Yeah, nice salads. Okay, <laughs> soups. N nice shrimp and spaghetti. Ravioli. Look like uh, what is this? Chicken marsala or something. Yeah. yeah. Shrimp again. Nice order of French fries. I'd give you his recipe for French fries, very unique. Um, meat. Tell you, and, and I love his food, the seafood. Pizzas. More pizza. What is that? Pineapple on pizza. Uh, I guess some people. Oh, uh, pizza, baby. Yeah. So, I mean, you could see we found good images. They're not all from his restaurant. I'm not going to tell you they are. But, you know, it became very appetizing for people to come here and find what they were looking for and whether or not. And then we got them started on a, they can actually uh, start menu. Well, here, this is what it looks like. And this is an, so they can online ordering. So they eliminated DoorDash and and what is the other uh, DoorDash and uh, Uber Eats? Uber Eats and the other one uh, that starts with Group, not Groupon. Um, oh man, unbelievable! But anyway, DoorDash, DoorDash, DoorDash. Yeah, as the as yeah, the there, there's all kinds of people, but like Marvin said, that cuts into the bottom line of restaurants, and they only have a certain profit margin with these with food, especially just like grocery stores. So it's it's crucial that we get. That what Marvin does and what he does to assist me, that we get those eyeballs on the offer. So Marvin, 
as always, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I finally got to interview you and stuff. We've been talking about this for a while. Yes. I can't wait to see you on TV. That's right, good view audience. You're going to see my friend Marvin Drobes. And if you need his services, how do they get in contact with you again, Marvin? The easiest way for, for those of you uh, who, who want to talk to me directly, you can go to my online calendar and book a 15-minute discovery call with me so I can see whether or not. And I, I want to be upfront about this, too. Very important. If you contact me and you set up 15 minutes for a discovery call, I'm going to be upfront with you and honest. There are people that I cannot help, okay? And there's a lot of reasons for that. We don't need to discuss them here right now. But if, if I can help you, yes. And I tell people, look, I'm not the cheapest online to get the help you might be looking for, but I'm not going to be the most expensive. I'm going to be reasonable and I'm going to be on top of things and get things done. And then if we find out after 90 days to 180 days that we can't get it done the way it should be going, you won't be firing us. We'll be firing ourselves and let you know we're not the company. We did what we could. We thought we could help you. We appreciate your business, but we I don't want to waste your money. I want to get results, okay? So go to Calendly, C-A-L-E-N-D-L-Y dot com forward slash M, D like in David, R-O-B-E-S, and you'll come to my 15-minute uh, schedule. You can book a call with us. And uh, we'll get on there and find out what you're looking to do. And I think that's what separates me also. I want to know all about your business. I don't know about every business. You know, I'm not an expert. You know, when, when a plumber comes to me, it's usually to fix my toilet or my sink. You know, uh, I don't know. He's got to tell me what he does. And I will learn. And my team will do the best to learn more about your business to make it right for you and, and offer the right service for you, okay? That's number one. The other thing is you can call directly. And if I have time, you know, we'll, we'll talk when you call. And my number in New Jersey is 732-523-2600. Okay, that's my direct line. You'll come right into my office. If I'm not here or on the line. Well, you can leave a message and I promise I'll call back as soon as possible. And last but not least, you can obviously email me at my first initial, M-D-R-O-B-E-S, at earningcoachmarketing.com. Marvin, as always, it's been a pleasure. I can't wait for our journey together with the perfect food for the perfect body. Makes two of us. Yes, because Marvin is going to be one of my testimonies, and I hope this definitely, from what we're hearing from the field, any day now. We know it's going to be in October, people, and I am chomping at the bit. My wife, Bonnie's chomping on the bit because, yes, I would like to lose about 10 or 15 pounds myself, but testimonies is another thing that we could talk about because it's crucial that people need to know first that a different person is taking that product or whatever service you have, whatever niche market you have. And that's why it's crucial, like Marvin's talked about in, in recap, Google business, automate the processes. We're doing that. And, and we've got an incredible team. And Marvin, is there is there any type of groups that you have available that you could offer to the audience that uh, Facebook groups that are, are talking about digital marketing or just just mentoring and, and, glad, and stuff I'm, like and I was, that. I, you know what? I'm glad you brought that up uh, because a couple of years ago, you know, in my stage of life, um, I'm more about helping people today than than building my agency. Uh, you know, I'm I've been blessed. I, I'm I, you know I've been rich. I've been poor. And as I think it was um, May West said, you know, rich is better. But you know what? If you want to stay humble, be poor for a while, you know, and, um, you know, I, I make a good living. I'm retired. Basically, I, I do receive my Social Security check, you know, which, you know, always wish it would have been higher. I would have made more money and put more into the system. But 
it was never meant to be an end to a mean. So having a business is great. And there's a lot of advantages. I'm sure you discuss it with your audience too, about having a, a business, especially the ability. I had an office years ago and I gave it up and I work from home to casually walk around my house, get up, go to the refrigerator. I guess that's the problem and why I need perfect food for a perfect body. And anyway, the point is, I developed a Facebook group. It's a private group. You can find it uh, on Facebook, Accountability for Success Mastermind. And it's a group of entrepreneurs and business people who want to know what's working in the digital marketing space today. Um, we have trainings every month. We also have a podcast. You'll find it on uh, online digital marketing today. You'll find it on Apple or Spotify. Uh, where we interview people like Howard, who has something valuable to bring to the marketplace. And uh, again, I would invite you, if, especially if you're a business owner, you know, or if you're doing this yourself and you want to be accountable to yourself and to a group, because one thing in the group, we expect people to participate, to like what's being shared to comment on what's being shared, and to let us know what they're using. If you have a program, if you found something that's working for you, we encourage you, post it. Even if you're an affiliate for a program, and we could talk about affiliate marketing another time too, but if you're an affiliate, you certainly can go ahead and post it. We have no qualms. We don't stop you, if, but show us proof that it's working for you before you just go out and, and, and try to sell it to someone else, okay? And again, it's accountability for success mastermind. And you'll be asked a couple of questions. Um, and once you fill that out, one of our admins will be happy to admit you to the group where you can introduce yourself, tell us what you're all about, and then certainly, boom, hopefully, you know, you'll get a lot out of the group as, as we're growing that group now. Um, very quietly. It, it's it's taking longer than I thought. I thought there'd be a lot more people interested, but takes time. Oh, definitely, Marvin. Just, just like you know, I've been at this a long time and stuff. And and your vision for me is to to eventually quit my six figures I have a security job and be able to do this. That's the goal, people. That's the goal. And as I said before, it's been a pleasure as always um working with you uh you hold me accountable and i'm part of that group too people um and that's how i'm connecting i know mommy before but i'm using other services from other people i'm not going to mention names i might interview them and offer them a place on the channel too who knows you know who you are <laughs> so i can't wait uh to be honest with you uh one of the services that i had to outsource was because i can't be at my computer for example. So I need to have a way for them to communicate with my niche audience, whoever comes to my website, who comes to my Facebook page, that page that Marvin showed you to. We're going to have a sales chat bot. And somebody in our group has mastered that. And that's what I'm thinking next, Marvin, is maybe we'll maybe we'll reach out to her, see if she wants to be interviewed and get her a little more TV time too. I think she'd be excited about that, wouldn't you? I, absolutely. I mean, working with uh, Miss X, um, she has mastered the chatbot, the text chatbot. Uh, it's amazing that when you chat with a bot, how many of them are terrible and how many of them really, such a small percentage of them, that you actually think you're talking or chatting with a with a live person and that led me to do an investigation and get involved with the call bot and the call bot is something that intrigued me because like you remember i'm now teaching other entrepreneurs and i don't have as much time in my agency and many a times i would say in my position my company 40 percent to maybe 60 percent of the calls are people that are not qualified that, that I end up getting on for 15 minutes here. You know, at the end of a week, I speak to six to eight people and I end up spending two, three hours that I could be doing something more beneficial for somebody else. And uh, when I found, I mean, these are new. 
these are, I mean, I'm going through a learning curve right now, learning how to use it. And we're going to inst institute it on your website because you're not available to take phone calls. But I was blown away, as I told Howard when I got involved with them. I spoke to a chat bot, voice chat bot, quote unquote, for almost two minutes before I realized I was not talking to a human being. In fact, my question was, I said, you know, am I talking to a real person? And the bot responded, I have been programmed in a human voice to answer your questions as humanly as possible. And I was like, what? <laughs> you know, so <laughs> it, it's amazing. And for me, same thing for my prospecting, for those that need to prospect. Uh, I know that many of you re receive SMS messages if you have a dental appointment, maybe a haircut, like I do my, my chiropractors, chiropractors use, uh, you know, yep. SMS yeah, they do. to yep. remind you tomorrow you have an appointment at 1 30. Well, now you can even more personalize it. You can actually use a voice bot and send, we're looking forward to you, you know, let us know, you know, uh, if, if this works for you or not, you know. And it could send out a call that way. So it, it look, the world is changing. The question is, are you going to change with it or are you going to get left behind? Great point, Marvin. And and one of the things I learned thanks to you is it's not how much it's 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 you gotta know how many how people need to perceive how much you care first before any and anybody's gonna purchase or even look at your website. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. I forgot the quote who quoted it. I think it was Jim Rohn and stuff like that. But be a student of the industry, people. I was a student. That's how I connected with Marvin. We were in that company together and stuff. And then, you know, it was a learning curve because we worked together on other things, too. I've had many successes, but trust me, the last 20 plus years have been the best when I took the uniform off, remember, I was in the military when I started my online e-commerce business, direct sale, affiliate marketing, whatever you want to call it. You're an entrepreneur. And entrepreneurs need to understand that one of the hardest things you have to do is be your own boss. But the benefits and the blessings, because you're getting to help show people how to be a financial steward. That's why in my episode three, I talked about outside of business. I talked about how I'm investing in precious metals. So you see the diversity of how owning a, a helping a platform, but a platform that is in, in so many countries and we're growing people. I think the last word I got from my good friend, Duke White, who was helped uh, curate this, this, this monster of Good View TV that you see is 300,000. A few months ago, we had 100,000 people. So share this out with your family if you think this is something or if you know a business that is struggling. All you got to do is reach out to Marvin, reach out to me, and I'll, I'll give you an honest explanation about certain things. I am a master of many things, but I haven't even scratched the surface on all the tools that Marvin has given me or offered me. Trust me. Every day I'm posting different or every other day I'm posting different articles, different blogs, different other things. It's because I understand that the branding, the content. And yes, I make plenty of mistakes. But guess what? I hold myself accountable and then I'll brainstorm with Marvin. I'll brainstorm with our accountability group to see, hey, who's working with this? And that's where the accountability and the transparency comes in. I'm not going to BS you about stuff. I'm going to be real about about what's going on. You Good need point. to have some type of ability to be able to create second streams of income, third streams of income while you sleep. While I sleep, I make money. And that's a great, great uh, way of having that. Plus, of course, being a business owner, we get so many benefits. The government gives me the benefit to be able to deduct certain things. Now, disclaimer. I'm not a tax person, but I tell you, I know about enough about the tax code until they rewrite it again. Get with a home-based business tax advisor, especially if you have a business and you're not deducting these things. People, you're authorized to. That's all I'm going to say, people. Marvin, 
thank you again, buddy. I appreciate it. I can't wait for our journey together with this PFPP. As I said, PFPP, PFPP. When people ask you, Marvin, what happened to you? PFPP. <laughs> That's it. That's the answer. All right. Audience, thank you. We've, we've, uh, we uh, we almost created two segments, basically. We went 55 minutes, which is fine because we were showing you what Marvin does and how Marvin showed you what he's doing with my site. So he's showing and telling. Take care. God bless. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at the top. Bye. Bye-bye now. <laughs>